Now, let's look at some key quotations, but also word level analysis when it comes to the character of Romeo. Now, as you can see behind me, essentially I've selected all the key quotations you should consider and memorize when it comes to Romeo's character. So I'm going to go through each quotation, and of course, what word level analysis you can do. The first quotation is at the beginning in Act 1, Scene 1, when he says, O oh, loving hate, and this is an exclamatory sentence. This obviously focuses on the fact that the play opens with Romeo suffering heartbreak as, opposed, as, a, uh, as a result of Rosaline. He's heartbroken over Rosaline, who doesn't seem to requite his love. This heartbreak is emphasised through the oxymoron, loving and hate. These are opposite terms. And of course, the exclamatory sentence is speaking using exclamation marks, showing his deep sense of anguish. The second quotation to bear in mind, which is taken from Act 1, Scene 5, is when he goes to the Capulet Ball, he encounters Juliet, falls instantly in love with her, and then he states, I never saw true beauty till this night. And of course, never saw, this is hyperbole. He is really enamoured. He is in love with Juliet, okay? Now, the next quotation to bear in mind is when he uh, meets Juliet, talks to her, and then he describes her as a winged messenger of heaven. And this is from Act 2, Scene 2. Now, in this quotation, of course, this is after he's met Juliet, fallen in love with her, and even if he knows that she's a Capulet, he still wants to have a relationship with her and, of course, also marry her. Now, the key thing to fo focus on with this quotation is winged messenger, which is a metaphor, basically talking about how Juliet is almost like an angel, okay? So, of course, this is showing how quick to fall in love Romeo can really be, how his emotions are so quick to be riled up, and, of course, also, it makes us as the audience interested and intrigued because of course when the play had began he was so in love with Rosaline. Rosaline was all these qualities but suddenly he's now really really fallen in love and deeply in love with Juliet. The next quotation to bear in mind with Romeo is after he marries Juliet in secret. He marries her, both Romeo and Juliet are really blissfully happy, but of course nobody else knows about their union apart from Faria Lawrence and the nurse. Now, he encounters Tybalt challenging Mercutio. Of course, Tybalt realised that Romeo was at the Capulet Ball. He wants to seek revenge. He challenges him to a duel. Mercutio steps in because Romeo refuses. Of course, Tybalt kills Mercutio and Romeo then, of course, in retaliation to protect the honour of his friend who's been killed, kills Tybalt. He then is unhappy because of course this means that he's now going to be either killed or banished with which Prince Aeschylus do does make good on. Now he reflects on fortune being unkind to him, fate being unkind, by stating in Act 3, Scene 1, I am fortune's fall. Now of course the key um, terms to focus on are fortune and fall, which is of course alliteration of F, which shows his emphatic sadness, and of course this is also an exclamatory sentence. It shows his emphatic feeling as to now his fate has been completely reversed due to his actions and of course due to killing Tybalt. The other quotation to bear in mind with Romeo is when he realises he learns from Balthazar, mistakenly he learns that Juliet has died. He doesn't, of course, realise that this is an elaborate trick that she set up with Friar Lawrence. Now, he decides because she's died, he's going to kill himself in order to join her in heaven. And he states in Act 5, Scene 1, Juliet, I will lie with thee tonight. Okay, and then he goes, of course, and gets poison and decides to go to her tomb. The key word level analysis to do for this quotation is the alliteration of W for will and with, and of course, alliteration of also T and T. Okay, so I will lie with thee tonight from Act 5, Scene 1. The final quotation to bear in mind with Romeo from Act 5, Scene 3 is when he encounters what he believes to be Juliet's dead body, okay? He believes she's dead, but then he finds it really intriguing that she still has a lot of beautiful colour on her face. She doesn't seem to be dead, and of course this is dramatic irony from our part as the audience because we know that Juliet isn't dead, she's just asleep, okay? And Romeo, when he encounters her, and of course this is what amplifies this tragedy, he says, Beauty's in sign yet is crimson in thy lips. De death's pale flag is not advanced there. This is from Act 5, Scene 3. And of course, there's dramatic irony here because the language that he's using, firstly, he's talking about how her beauty, so beauty is in sign, yet is crimson in their lips. Essentially, her lips, she still seems to be very beautiful, very like, lifelike, very vivid. She has crimson red lips. And of course, the colour red, crimson, actually, in terms of word level analysis, it has connotations of death. Of course, this foreshadows Juliet herself later on waking up, finding Romeo dead and then 
then stabbing herself. Of course, this is blood that she's going to shed. And then the other key thing to focus on with this quotation is the metaphor, death, death's pale flag. And of course, this is a metaphor relating to how death is yet to essentially show in Juliet's face, okay? She's not undergone yet rigor mortis, which is basically the Latin term for the gradual deterioration of her body, okay? Of course, this is because she's not died. She's just asleep, okay? So these are really the key quotations to bear in mind when it comes to the character of Romeo.